When most people hear the word Bellevue, they picture an insane asylum. But that's just one aspect of this city within New York City, where I've spent the last 14 years as medical director. Sure, Bellevue treats the mentally ill, but we're also one of the oldest and largest public hospitals in the country. We care for all New Yorkers, from Park Avenue blue bloods to illegal immigrants huddled in tenements. We treat investment bankers from Wall Street and prisoners from Rikers Island. And we see a lot of what we call canary patients, patients whose symptoms tell us about war, famine, and civil unrest thousands of miles away, or a societal problem that hasn't made the papers yet. I've always been a doctor, but I've also always wanted to be a writer. The sounds and smells of medicine entered my brain's limbic system as a boy on night rides when my dad made house calls on Gun Hill Road. Years ago, I started keeping a journal, and then I had the idea of 12 patients. Each chapter would be a self-contained medical drama in which the vital signs would be just the beginning of a patient's story. On October 13th, I pressed the button marked B for basement for the first time. Everyone who works in a hospital knows what it means when they see you headed downward. There is nothing else in the basement, just cancer. The radiation therapy suites are windowless, artificially lit subterranean caverns. There are the ubiquitous plants and wood furniture to try to make it appear homelike and welcoming. The design created a camouflage of comfort, but I was not fooled throat cancer. I knew the odds. I probably would never live to see my grandchildren in kindergarten. So I am not just the author of 12 patients. I am one of the 12. 